Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to be doing uh, another review and it's going to be of another battery charger. This one's called the P10X2 and it is from HTRC. Now I, I know what you're thinking, you're like, oh god, another battery charger? Like how many battery chargers do you need before you don't need anymore? I thought the same thing, but this one really caught my eye. Just for the sole fact that P10X2 means times two because it can charge two batteries or two battery banks of different voltages at the same time. From what I understand, it can charge a 12 volt battery bank at 10 amps and it can also charge a 24 volt bank at 5 amps simultaneously. So we're going to go ahead and open this up and see what's going on. Okay, let's open the box and see what's inside. A little bit of styrofoam. Here is the battery charger. All right, it's made out of some durable plastic. Here are the, uh, the two XT60s for a dual charging. Uh, here is the, uh, the AC input plug. Looks like there's a fan on the back for heat management. Uh, and then there's two separate buttons for each charging, uh, each charging port. So you can decide whether one is going to charge at a low setting and one's going to charge at a medium or high setting. So they're completely separate units all in the same device. Uh, and then it looks like actually like this on the back, there's some nice little rubber feet. And then also there are wall mounts. So you could actually stick this on the wall, which is nice. And then on the side, there is the on off button. Let's see what's in here. Looks like uh, battery clamps, AC plug, and Yep, a second set of battery clamps. So then it came with two sets of battery clamps and a user manual. Okay, after reading a little bit more about this battery, uh, in the manual it looks like it's pretty thick but it's actually in like five different languages so it's actually only about five pages of information, but it's pretty uh, in informative. All right, this is considered a smart battery charger. Uh, it will automatically detect what type of battery chemistry you have. So it will automatically know whether you have a lithium iron phosphate or a lithium ion or some sort of sealed lead acid or wet battery. And then it will program this charging profile accordingly. And these mode buttons, you can select from low, medium, high, and then there's a repair mode for uh, sealed lead acid batteries. And the repair function is actually for sealed lead acid batteries only. You do not want to use that for lithium iron phosphate or lithium ion batteries. Uh, the repair function actually is for uh, a battery that's either old or it's just idle uh, or it's weak that's when you would want to use that repair function, but only for sealed lead acid batteries or flooded. Okay, so let's go ahead and plug this in. I'm gonna go ahead and just plug it into the solar power generator, it's the GoFort. And what we're gonna do is, if you look up here, I'm gonna charge my Ampere Time 50 amp hour 12 volt battery, and then I'm actually going to charge my big 24 volt battery system at the same time. And we'll see what it looks like on the screen and uh, the charging rates. All right, these battery clamp cables, they look like they're about two and a half feet each. And actually I just measured it and it, these battery clamp cables are actually three feet. So 36 inches. Uh, the clamps themselves, uh, they feel actually pretty cheap. This is plastic, it's not rubber, but it is completely covered. It's not, there's really not much metal uh, exposed. So that's, that's good. 
But I do wish that these were actually made out of some sort of rubber material, not plastic. Because I don't like the thought of this falling and then the plastic just shattering. All right, I got everything all ready to go, so let's turn it on. Shows that they're both set on low. Uh, and it, on the screen, it does say off. There we go. And it looks like the light is set on mode two. I wonder if you hit mode one. Yeah, and then it moves over. So it knows by, by pressing the button, you're switching to what side. We're gonna go ahead and connect up this 12 volt battery first and see what the display says. All right. As soon as we put the clamps on the battery, it lights right up, the fan turns on, and it's set on low. Uh, it says the battery voltage is 13.4, it's charging at 1.4 amps, uh, a total amperage, the amperage total is zero, and it just cycles through that. So let's go ahead and click it up to medium. And now it's at five amps, so it went from 1.3 to five, is that right? Or 1.4 to 5 amps. So let's go ahead and click on high. And now it's showing 6.4 amps. Okay, it looks like it stopped at 6.4 amps. So let's go ahead and click it down back down to low. And now it's back down to 1.4. So, okay, now on the other side, on the other side, we're gonna go ahead and clamp up the 24 volt version. All right, that side's connected. And now it looks like the two lights are flashing, both of them saying low. And since this light is lit, it's showing the 24 volt right here. It's showing that our battery bank is at 26.8. We are charging with 1.5 amps. Uh, put zero in so far and the Temperature inside the unit is 73 degrees. So again, with the 24 volt side, let's see what it charges at. So it's 1.5 amps for low. So let's go ahead and click up to medium. At medium, it's three amps. And then at high, at high, it looks like it charges at 3.3 amps. And then let's click over to this side. And then it moves back over here. We got it at 12 volts. And on low, it should be charging up at 1.4. So let's go and click this on to high. Oh. And the unit just turned off. And I do know that during the testing, the battery charger did turn off when I had two batteries charging at the same time but I do believe that was because it was plugged into a portable solar generator. If you're gonna be using these battery chargers, uh, make sure you have them plugged into a, a proper 120 volt outlet. From shore power, what we have is uh, on high, it's charging at 3.3 amps on the 24 volt side. And on the 12 volt side on high it's charging at 6.5 amps so 6.5 amps at 12 volts and 3.2 amps at 24 volts so even though this says it can charge at 10 amps at 12 volts uh, it looks like we can only charge at 6.5 amps at 12 volts and at 24 volts it says that it should be able to charge at 5 amps but we're only getting 3.2 amps of charge but still i like the option that i can charge a 12 volt battery and a 24 volt battery simultaneously that's really nice okay let's see what how how accurate this is compared to a multimeter when it comes to amp draw. So we are looking at switching it over to 12 volts. It's saying that we are charging at 6.4 amps. 
and I am actually showing that we're charging at 5.76 amps. So this says 5.7 and the battery charger shows 6.4. And on the 24 volt side, it shows that we're charging, it shows that we're charging at um, 3.2 amps on the unit, but my multimeter shows 3.3 amps. So the 24 volt side looks like it's pretty accurate when it comes to uh, the amp display, but on the 12 volt side, uh, it doesn't seem to be, it seems to be off by almost a full amp when it comes to the display. It's it looks like in the unit for the fan, it looks like it sucks in the cold air right here and it blows it out right down here. So actually, it feels like the, the warmest air is on the bottom. So I would actually, I would actually worry about uh, airflow. If you have this thing screwed onto a wall, uh, I would actually kind of worry about the airflow. It's on, it's on the 24 volt side right now. So let's see what happens if I just disconnect the 12 volt side. And now if I select this side, yep, it just says off. But if you're only using one side, it doesn't charge faster just because you're using one side. It always keeps it evenly split between the two sides. Yeah, and then as soon as you disconnect it from the, the battery, it shuts off. Okay, so what do I think of the, um, the HTRC P10X2 battery charger. I really like the fact that it can charge two batteries of separate voltages at the same time, 12 volt and 24 volt. This is not for 36 or 48 volt battery banks. I also like that there are modes that you can uh, charge, like charging speeds. I feel like, uh, you know, it does say that it can charge up to 10 amps at 12 volts, but it's pretty clear that it, it really can't do that. Uh, the battery that I was charging is probably right around 85%, so it should have charged it at full, at full speed. I also like the fact that it will automatically know what kind of battery chemistry you're using. You don't have the chance of accidentally overcharging the battery that you're, that you're working with. Also, I do like the fact that it looks like it's wall mountable. Uh, being able to put this on the wall to have it kind of work with your battery bank, I think it's a plus. And overall, I mean, it, it charged up exactly what I wanted it to charge. So the cons about this that I can see, it says that it can charge up to five amps at 24 and 10 amps at 12 volts, uh, but I did not see that on either 24 or 12 volt. So I think that's a little misleading. Uh, when it comes to the fan, uh, it's, it is a one speed fan, so it's not going to, uh, speed up or slow down depending on how hot it gets but it does display the temperature of the unit right on the screen so that's that's kind of a bonus but what i don't like about the fan is that it blows in the air here and then it blows it out it seems like mostly on the bottom and i feel like if you have this bolted onto a wall or it, it will really restrict the airflow so i'm actually kind of concerned about that i think it would have a more of a tendency of overheating if you have it actually bolted onto a wall, but I would have to further test that. And then when it came to charging 24 volt systems, uh, the, the amperage that was shown on the screen was pretty close to what my multimeter said, but on the 12 volt side, when it was charging a 12 volt battery, uh, it said it was charging at 6.4 amps when my multimeter actually only showed, uh, you know, 5.7, something like that. I don't know why there would be a discrepancy in the 12 volt part of it, but not in the 24. And then when it comes to the battery clamps, um, I do like how uh, it, the metal is practically completely covered. I wish they weren't made out of plastic. I wish they were, they were coated in some sort of rubber material. Uh, again, just for the fact that if these accidentally fall on the ground or on, you know, on cement, I really think that these might crack and break. 
Okay, with all that being said, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, go ahead and uh, click that like button. Uh, if you have any questions about how I use this charger, uh, please leave them in the comments. I'll have a link to this battery tester in the description. And if you like my content, please consider subscribing. It really helps out. Thank you so much and have a great day. Bye-bye.